Fellas, y'all still don't get this shit, man. I say this every freaking video, man. Y'all are not uncomfortable with where you are. You're not uncomfortable enough. When you're uncomfortable and disgusted with where you are, where the fuck you are, and you want to level up, you want to get the girls you want to get, you want to get the physique you want to get, you want to have the career you want to have, you're, you're going to stop putting up with the bullshit. You're going to stop being in a relationship with a chick you do not care about, right? You're not attracted to. You're just settling for her. You're going to quit the job that you don't like, right? You're going to stop eating the burgers and shit. You're gonna start eating, stop eating the pizza, stop drinking on the weekends. You're gonna really lock in. But the thing is, a lot of you guys are comfortable with where you are. I've worked with a lot of people, and they're like, hey man, let's get it, man, let's get it. Let's put the work in, let's put the work in. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, as soon as they see the work, they're like, and it'd be easy as hell too. I don't even give people hard workouts. I'd be giving people easy shit compared to what I do, right? Because you gotta work your way up, obviously. So, you know, give them a little, give them a nutrition plan, a little workout plan, and they're like, all right, all right, tough, 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 tough. All right, bet, bet, bet. After a week, of being uncomfortable, they're like, I don't know, man. I don't know, like, is there any way I can still, I can eat honey buns? And shit like that. You're not willing to give up honey buns. Or they're like, can, can I go out to eat, man? You mind if I go out to eat and drink? My girl want to go out to eat. Like, listen, your priorities are fucked up. Your, your, your mindset isn't locked in. You're not locked in. You're not uncomfortable with the way you are. You're not going to reach your goals that way. You're always trying to, you're steady trying to drink, right? Steady trying to binge on the weekends, have cheat days. That's why you're not at your fucking goals. That's why you have a big ass stomach. In 10 years, you're gonna have type 2 diabetes. You're gonna have high cholesterol. It's just inevitable the way you're going. All right? A lot of you guys do that shit. You're like, hey man, I'm ready, I'm ready. You see the work and you're like, oh, uh, is there another way around it? No, the work works. The shortcuts don't work. That's why they're called crash diets. All the crash diets, all the bullshit that you see, you see the keto, you see the fucking water fasting, watermelon fasting. Everyone who does that shit, they constantly are doing that, gaining the weight back, constantly doing that, gaining the weight back because they want to do anything but the actual work, right? A lot of you guys want a different answer. Like you guys will ask me like, hey man, how do I get to my results, man? I'll tell you, all right, high protein calorie deficit, strength training, being consistent with that and getting a decent amount of sleep, man. And you'll be like, all right, bet, 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 bet. And then they'll, they'll ask me again later, they'll be like, hey man, what else can I do? And I'm like, no, 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 no. You got to do what the fuck I just told you. You got to do those basics because your stomach's still big as hell. Your back is still big as hell, right? You're still out of shape like a motherfucker, bro. Like, your stomach is sloppy as shit, bro. Like, you haven't done a high protein calorie deficit in the strength training. You did it for one week. You got to keep doing it. It takes time. Just like it took you time to get that big ass stomach. It's going to take you time to lose it. All right? Like, here's the problem. A lot of you guys aren't willing to accept the only answer, which is high protein calorie deficit. I don't give a fuck who you are. High protein calorie deficit, strength training, being consistent with it, obviously getting enough sleep. That's the, that's, that's the formula, right? You're not willing to accept the answer. That's the only answer. So for your ass, there's no fucking answer, all right? Because you're like, oh, well, it can't be that. It got to be something else. If you think it's something else, you're never going to find there's something else. You're just going to keep searching with that shiny ob object syndrome bullshit. That's what y'all do. Y'all be like, nah, 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 I got it. So here's the thing. I'm going to eat tuna every day for this week, and I'm going to water fast this week and do watermelon fast this I'm like, all right, go ahead and starve yourself. You'll be binging later. I'll talk to you in three weeks when you're binging. Like, y'all aren't willing to do what it takes. All right. You're not willing to make a change. You're not willing to change your habits. Right. You want different results, but you're not willing to change habits. We know that's the definition of insanity. I don't know why the fuck you don't know that you are literally doing the same thing. You're going to the same places and you just want someone to validate that you can do whatever you want to and still get to your goals. Obviously, if you could, you'd be at your goals. And obviously, if you could, everyone would be at their goals. You can't do whatever the fuck you want to and get to your goals, guys. You got to eat healthy. All right. And it's called healthy because it's good for your health. If you're eating unhealthy, that means harmful to health. Look up the fucking definition of unhealthy. It's harmful to health. So if you're out of shape, you got a big stomach, you really want to get lean, you want to lose some fat, you can't be eating unhealthy. That's literally harmful to your health. And your body is a representation of that. That's why people respect when you have your body in shape. That's like, oh, you take care of your health. That's why chicks like it. That's why employers like it. That's why other men respect you. Because obviously that means you're taking care of your health. If you have a big stomach, if you're out of shape, if you're sloppy looking, that means you're unhealthy, which means harmful to health. What is that an indicator of? Type 2 diabetes, heart disease, all that shit, bro. It's basic shit. So all of you guys saying, oh, it's vain, it's vain. It's because you're eating pizza upstairs and you don't know it yet because you haven't took your blood pressure, but you have high blood pressure. All right. So next time you go for a checkup, which is probably going to be in three years or some shit, you're going to have type 2, high blood pressure, all that shit, right? Because you haven't been taking care of yourself. And you thought it was just like, I don't want to be vain. Well, you got to take care of yourself because no one else is going to take care of you for you. You think Jesus is going to come down here and, you know, cook for you and wipe your ass? You got to do that shit by yourself, yo. A lot of y'all always do. A lot of you guys don't want to put the work in. Like, you don't, you don't want to take care of yourself. You just want everything to come to you, all right? You think everything's like Uber Eats and DoorDash. You want everything to come to you. Like, what well, is not fair, man. I, I downloaded the dating app, and I'm like, um, even if you did a, a selfie, your face is fat as shit because you're 30% body fat. You have bigger titties than half the girls on this dating app. It's not happening, bro. Work on yourself. You haven't done the work. Y'all want to do everything but the work. You Listen, I am, I am literally 
convinced that you guys would do anything but the work. Anything. Like, y'all would do anything in the world but the actual work. Do the ground fucking work, all right? Do the groundwork. Do it. What the fuck are you waiting on, bro? Like, y'all be trying to, y'all be looking at all these, y'all be going to Reddit forums, like, how can I lose fat without lifting weights and working out? How can I lose, how can I lose fat without eating healthy? There is no fucking answer. You'll be looking for the rest of your life, bro. Bye.